Shankaraka, I am the trustee of this temple, which is known as Krishna Temple. This particular temple was established in 1916, so in almost 105 years old. This temple was built by all the Hindus in those days and they created for the purpose of religious followers. Over the years we had so many disciples of different sectors who have visited this temple and we had many many functions which has been taking place for the cause of Hinduism. My name is Mr. Sailesh Seth. I'm the current chairman of all the Hindu Council of Nakuru as well as CGHU, which means the Sri Krishna Temple Nakuru. Sri Krishna Temple was formed in the year 1916, which is now about 105 years old. We did a grand celebration in the year 2016, where thousands of uh, devotees turned up from all parts of Kenya for the massive celebration. Um, the, the temple, CGHU temple, plays a very, very key role in uniting the Hindu community in the Kuru. We are trying to integrate both the yesteryears, means our elders, together with the youths, the current youths of our uh, town. This temple every year celebrates various events which pertaining to Hinduism which is mainly the, Lord, the birth of the Lord Krishna. There is an annual Navratri event whereby everybody chants the uh, Goddess Amba where all the ladies and boys and children and uh, gents come to that new hall and in that hall they pray Lord um, my Lordess Amba and Mataji, what we call it, and uh, they have uh, get together for almost nine days. Taking this water of God, we are filled that felt that uh, we are blessed by God, and we feel happy, mentally, physically, everything we feel we met God, and God blessings are always on us. Thank you. <laughs> One of the main event of this place is Diwali, which most of you know, is an event of the year for the Hindus. This is the time Lord Rama, who came from the forest back to his kingdom to rule and give the pleasure and the joy to the people of uh, Ayodhya, where he was born. So this is a big celebration. Uh, the temple is very active in all the social activities, religious activities and promoting cultural activities as well. Uh, we have currently two priests in our temple which is Pankaj Maharaj and Mahesh Maharaj. I will very briefly give you some of the major celebrations that we do in the Krishna temple. We have the yearly Sne Milan followed by Ankur in the Bhai Beach celebrations. We celebrate the Makkar Sankrati, which is we call it the Kite Festival in the month of January. We celebrate Mahashivratri. We celebrate Holi Kadahan. We celebrate Ram Naomi. We celebrate Hanuman Jayanti. We have started celebrating Ganpati Utsav for the last 11 years. We are starting we celebrate you know, Navratri for the last practically 105 years, which is a nine-day event. We celebrate Lord Krishna's birth, we celebrate Hanuman Jayanti and our religious elders, religious pundits, they also travel from India all the way to Kenya for a several, several religious discourses which last over a week or more so that the, they unite all the youths and the elders of Nakuru town. This particular temple inside here we can sit easily about 150 people and do the ritual and prayers. 
as you can see the architecture work which was built in the 40s early 40s so beautifully done with pillars and the uh, and the concrete uh, slabs it has been standing like this without any uh, crack in any part of the building so you can see the how solid the building was built by in those days by the architect the builders and the and the contractors now in this uh, area we have got three more temples one is of lord rama one is of lord shiva and one is of uh, goddess amba mataji apart from that we also have a residential uh, complex for uh, our community people to stay plus also for the two priests that we have they also stay we got facilities for them this is the photograph of lord shiva and uh, if you can uh, in christianity we call it father and the father and the son and the holy spirit he is supposed to be the holy spirit which which takes care of the soul after the death yeah. in india which is he is known as sai baba which many people believe that he had done so many miracles for the betterment of the life of people he was born in about 19 not born he was in india around 19 19 20 21 23 in those days from the from the forest he celebrate his coming back and uh, that is his better half and lord Rak lakshman is his brother they are together and this is lord krishna and rather the same as what we just saw it on the other side this temple was built recently and this is known as ram the priest for this temple his name is mr mahesh bhai and he takes care of this section of the temple and he's been with us for the last 7 8 years now As I said, this was built recently. Okay. And particular temple hall was officially opened in 1970. That is almost 50 years now. More than 50 years. Yeah. And this is where we have our major functions all the time. Yeah. This is Lord Krishna with Radha Rani. Radha Rani is a companion. to lord krishna he is not she is not his wife she is a companion and she is the one who is meant to be spreading a lot of religious virtues to the hinduism lord krishna is a eighth disciple of hinduism in hinduism it is said that lord whenever there is a need or when there ever the problems are there on the earth when the evil starts and the people become very unreligious at that time the lord would come on the earth and destroy the evil and give blessings and praise to his disciples so this is the eighth uh, avatar we will call it with that means he has come eight times eighth time lord has come down to the earth this particular temple was uh, granted a grant to us in 1915 by the government uh, at that time government of kenya the principal uh, trustees were uh, mr hari singh gujabai a pioneer of this town who had come to this country in 1900 in those days he was one of the well to do person because he had lot of business and he became the president of this temple for almost 45 years under his guidance and leadership this main two three temples were built and there were lot of his uh, good friends who helped to create this temple of course one person cannot do everything there were so many pioneers like rubna jeram was there asha bai patel was there uh, magan bai thakkar was there and then of course the later generation like uh, myself
Silesh, we came into it and we continue building and also taking care of all the religious functions in this Kuru town, especially in this temple. Okay? Takes care of the temple and also does our ritual of prayers every morning and in the afternoon and the evening. He's been with us for now 30 years. 26 years. 26 years he's been here with us. And he's doing his services to uh, diligently and uh, very happily.